Namaste guys, Ashish here for Namaste Deck and in this video I'm going to show you all the new features of EMUI 9 which is now rolling out to all the previous Honor devices and the Huawei devices. I will also include the older features just for the reason that if you have a new Honor device and you don't know about all those features, let's get to see how they look on the EMUI 9 now. And just before we start, if you're here for the first time, make sure to hit the subscribe button below and the bell icon so that every time we make a new honor tips and tricks video or anything around it you get an instant notification let's begin with it so beginning with the navigation thing so I've bumped up the text just for you. So beginning with the navigation thing. So now you have got a new navigation system in different forms actually. That's what I love about the EMUI 9 now. So if you go to system navigation, you have got a couple of things like you can go for a gesture, which is popular with iPhone. Then you can go off screen. So if you go for the first one, so you can see you just need to use gesture like back, forward and press the home button swipe up and stuff like that so if you enable this so if I just tap to enable this so I can go back forward like this so if I just tap swipe up and stop don't leave it so it gives you multitasking then you've got off screen navigation key so if you tap on this you get one home button so if you tap on this you work with the home button and then you've got single key so you can just use this one so if i tap on this i get a single button and i can do all my actions with it so i usually stick by the iphone style but for this video we'll just stick to the and you can see you can customize it as well if you want your back button and the uh, multitasking swapped if you want uh, another extra button you can have that as well to bring down the quick action bar the next thing we'll take a look is app assistance for games which is available under tools section so if you go to tool you have got app assistant tap on it and you can see that you have a lot of games already listed on the phone which is available here or the games it can recommend or you can add the advantage is when you're using this you can have this game acceleration feature then uninterrupted gaming and mistake protection all enabled so it improves the overall gaming experience which is one of the features of EMUI 9 and you can also have uninterrupted gaming in which you don't get any notification except for calls and alarms you can add games here which you think is not listed you can do that now we all know about digital well-being on Android 9 right so we don't have stock Android here so what they have done is we have given us an option which is called as digital balance so if you go here and search digital balance so it does almost the same kind of job it gives you a complete starts then you have your usage hours then you have app limits that you can put you have a bedtime experience here you can even have a pen so if you are configuring it with your kids and all you can manage that and if you go to more you get to see how many times you have unlocked screen time and last seven days starts everything is available right here now emui has something called as high vision or h-i-v-i-s-i-o-n so what it does is basically it launches your camera and scans stuff around it so if i tap on this so it will going to scan let's say this watch here and it will suggest me what it is and similar items so you can see watches have been you can also go for a translation QR code scan or even a identity section where you can scan and figure out you know what it is especially useful when you are outside and you want to take a look find out information about monuments and everything right now it's taking a look at a headphone which is terribly wrong but that's what he vision is for under tool section you have another application called as phone clone so what it does basically it can clone your phone from an old to a new or new or to old whatever you want it can be done so useful if you are switching to a new honor of Huawei phone running MUI 9 
MUI 9 also offers something called as password vault where you can save all your password and use it across so you just need to enable it so once you enable it just confirm and it will start saving your all your passwords you also have autofill settings here which you will be able to change once you start using it one last feature which is available the visual feature is another application called as backup now what has changed here is that it can take multiple backups on different places so if you have a external storage it can save it on sd card or you can save it to a micro sd card wherever you want it can save on multiple location so if you are using the backup and restore feature in emui 9 this is one feature that you should not miss now i'm going to talk about some of the older features which have been there on phone from some time but if you are new to emui this is the video you should be watching especially if you have some of those new devices the first is the multi-window so switch to multitasking and if you want to use multi-window look for this small icon on top here just tap on it and you have got a app which is here and this is another app which you can swipe across go back and this works completely different now if you switch multitasking and you can switch to another app which supports multitasking this is the one and let's say if i launch youtube this is my second app so i can have two of these running side by side you can switch between when you tap on this and if you do a long press you can adjust the size and work like that so multitasking is supported by default and if you want to go to your home screen just tap on this multitasking screen bring it down and you exit from the multitasking window or the double window MUI has been offering one hand UI from pretty long time so if you swipe from left to right still not easy to implement actually so you swipe from left to right or right to left whatever you want and you get a small screen which you can use as a one hand operation useful for screen spec like this and if you want to exit just tap anywhere and you're out of it another feature which came on in honor 7 i guess which is called as wi-fi tethering very useful feature so if you go to wireless and networks and you go to tethering and portable hotspot you have something called as wi-fi bridge what it basically does is if you are connected to a hotel Wi-Fi and you want to distribute the same Wi-Fi, let other devices use the same Wi-Fi, but through you, then you can enable this. You can set a password, let others use this Wi-Fi bridge and you don't have to pay for extra connections over there, uh, which is sometimes based on number of devices. Now under display, you have usual thing, which is like you can change color mode and temperature. You have got eye comfort feature, very useful if you are using it at night. Then under more display settings, you have something called a smart rotate. What it basically does, even if you don't have auto rotation enabled and you change your phone to a landscape mode, you will get a option to change the rotation or some application. It basically follows your orientation of your face. If you want to duplicate apps, then you have something called as App Twin, which is under applications. Actually, a lot of things they have bought it at some one place, so it's easier to find now. But sadly, it only supports Facebook and Messenger. If you want to twin basically any other app, then you need to use an app called as Parallels from the Play Store and use it. That's a better option anytime. Now, if you move to security and privacy, you have a lot of options uh, to secure your files and everything. So you have got app lock, which is inbuilt into the phone. So you can say, okay, so now I can lock down my application with fingerprint as well as face unlock. This is how it works. So you don't need any third party application to lock down your phone. It just works this way. Then you have something called as private space. So you can have another phone like feature in the same phone. So if you want to have two different profiles, private space for work, private space for home, you can do that. And then you have something called as file safe. It basically locks down your files if you don't want anybody else to see it. Lastly, you have smart assistance, which where you have a couple of things available here. I'll specifically look at motion control where you can flip, rise to rear. What I really liked about it is the three finger screenshot, which by default is actually disabled. So when you enable it, you can just swipe down like here and it takes a screenshot and you can swipe to share it 
to any applications you want very useful feature you should be using it so that's how you share through huawei share apart from that there are split screen features and open application feature the features are there that you can take a look and see if it works for you but these are the best tips and tricks with emui 9 that you can have right now both including the new one and the older one combined so guys if you did like the video do hit the like button share it with your friends who have a huawei or a honor phone running emui 9 they just got the phone though they should know about it thanks for watching